a video. What's my official prediction to win LAN? Who do you think is going to win LAN? I really, I really don't know who's winning LAN. But, like, if I had to really say something, I'm saying... Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen, because today we're going to be predicting Fortnite Global Championships. I've asked some of the biggest creators in the entire Fortnite scene, and I've also asked you guys, and I'm going to be giving my opinions on the Global Championships as well, all in today's video. But before we get into it, if you want to be as good as the players going to Global Championships, make sure you check out the Destiny Jesus Solo Superstars link in the description. It's the best possible way to get better as you get coaching from some of the best pros and the best coaches in the entire world. Let's go. So we're going to start with what you guys said for FNCS, move on to the pros, and finally talk about what I think FNCS is going to turn out like, which is probably going to be horribly wrong, but we're going to go with it anyway. That way we can get all the exciting stuff out of the way, and if you guys want to see my predictions, you can stay for the end. As the general public of FNCS, we think that Peterbot is going to win Fortnite FNCS. He gained a staggering 52.2% of the votes, meaning that we had an incredible landslide in Peterbot and Poyo's flavor. Flavor? I meant favor. So they are going with FNTS apparently according to the public and in second place we're going to have Avico and Flixy with 13% of the vote. In joint third showing 8.7% of the votes we have Vino and Clix and Alex and Worthy. I'm not sure how Alex and Worthy got on here because they are conned by absolute goats off spawn of Mustache and Malavuka but they are apparently going to come joint third in this FNCS. One team I didn't see a lot of votes for were Kami and Seti, and that really did surprise me because they are an incredible team and they're going to be unconned. I think a lot of people are worried about their form this year because they did have a 30th, a 3rd, and then a 38th, I believe. And now they're coming in after two bad FNCSs out of three, and people are starting to throw out the washed allegations. Which, as you will see from the wider content creators' responses and also my responses, we do not think Kami and Seti are washed. We did have all the teams that you'd assume we had on there as well, like Malibuka Mustache. We had some Acorn and Cole. We had some Batman Booger and Rapids, exactly how you'd expect. So what did the content creators slash pro players think? We're going to count out these votes as they come along. And the first person we got a response from was Malt. Malt said clicks. He said clicks and clicks is going to get a point straight on there. And likewise, Zaro also said clicks. So you've got two points for clicks and nothing for no one else so far. And I then asked Kinch Analytics and he definitely said that Chapentini were a little bit of a wild card. He also mentioned that if drop spots don't change, then Vico and Flixy. And the drop spots hasn't really changed, so we're going to go with Vico and Flixy for Kinch Analytics. He also did add a note though, if Peterbot and Poyo start getting wrapped every game, then they will win easily. So we'll have to see how it goes. Dollar said Peter. So we've now got a 1-1-2 split in our votes. And it's looking interesting going into It's Jerrion, who told us a very, very astounding answer and definite answer of PETERBOT in all capitals. We were asking content creators, but what about the casters? Mini Miner said Vico and Flixy. And you'll probably get to see him casting at the FNCS Globals. So make sure you keep an eye out for him there. The incredible Rainbow Bean of Ken Beans said Batman Booger and Rapid. They are a very solid team and definitely on zero ping again at land, they're going to be destroying everyone. I guarantee it. I personally can't see them winning, but I see them taking a top three. I did ask Jivan as well, Ken Beans or Dewey partner, but yeah, I, Jivan didn't answer me. Henry30J said Peterbot will win, but Flixy and Vico can do well, so we're going to take his vote on Peterbot for that. We did ask Levin, and he did say he was going to lock in predictions for us, but we didn't get his reply before the video came out, so I have messaged him again, and I'm going to put his response pinned in the comment section for you guys to read who he thinks is going to win FNCS. A surprise but definitely respectable answer from Martos. He said, I'd like Clix and Vino to take it home, but I think Kami and Seti have a better chance. He also said, everyone says Peter and Poyo, so that'd be a boring answer. He thinks Kami and Seti will win. And I have massive respect because he was the first person to say that and I agree with him. They could definitely win. I see them getting a top three 100%. Sven, however, was a definitely a little bit biased <laughs> with Ritual and Reet and Cold and Acorn being his first picks. 
I ended up taking his vote for Colton Acorn because that's who I personally think will place higher out of those two teams. And come on, I can't give Sven two votes on his own teams. I asked my boy Lights and he said Flixie wins. Another vote for Vico and Flixie. And finally, some of the last of the DM responses. Destiny Jesus said Peterbot, and that is no surprise. Peterbot is looking insane going to this event. And I also asked DJ to ask Resub to check his messages. And he finally sent me this. Resub, today at 9.47pm, Cami and Seti. That is another Cami and Seti, and they're making a bit of a late comeback here, if I'm being honest, in terms of the votes. I also managed to ask some of the streams on stream, and this is what they all said. I'm going to count up the votes while the clips are playing. For a video, what's my official prediction to win LAN? Uh, Peter Bob. Who do you think is going to win LAN? Uh, probably Peter Bob. I really, I really don't know who's winning LAN. Yeah, but... But, like, if I had to really say something, I'm saying Kabiko flicks win. That's my guess. Can we study? This means, if I calculated it correctly, we have a staggering five votes for Peter. We have four votes for Vico, three votes for Kami, two votes for Clicks, and one vote each for Cold and Batman Booga. You can tell this scene of content creators and pro players know their stuff because honestly I can see any one of these teams winning and I would not be surprised a singular bit. We're just waiting for Levin's response now in the comment section. Make sure you all gas up his comment when it does come because we need to make him feel warm and welcomed. Anyway, let's move on to my predictions. What do I think is going to happen in FNCS? Because I have made a tier list and I'm excited to show it to you. Now, I did spend about 20 minutes putting all these teams into the perfect spots, and it's a bit of waffle, so I'm going to skip past this bit and then just give you a summary of it, honestly. You know it, we're here, and I've put Clicks and Vino on the top of the list, and hear me out on this one. They have a lot of teams at the Wrath and other spots contesting them. They're more than likely to get the Forecast Tower, and they're also uncontested, and that makes it like 20 times better. Batman Booga and Seti and Kami are also uncontested with teams contesting around them. Batman Booga and Rapid are right above the Raph, so I've given them the edge over Kami and Seti because both teams' teams have been incredible in terms of their placements this season. And I've got Vico and Flixie in fifth, Uncon, but they have Bryson Bolt kind of near them that could mess up their forecast tower, so I'm expecting them to do slightly worse. Peter Bot and Poyo obviously landing the Raph. They have got pretty much one side of it to themselves, but it is pretty grief to sell put them in the top five. The games they get the Rapid Medallion though, they're going to win them, let's be real. Avi and Booga are going to be sick, and they've got a great drop in their hands. Uncontested, they're looking crazy. Tweezy and Thomas, the exact same thing. Chap and Teeny are going to cook something up. I have a good feeling. Reason number deal have the top of the Doom uncontested, so I think they could definitely pull something off. And I'm actually half tempted to move them up, but I'm going to leave them here. Acorn and Cold are cons, but it's Acorn and Cold, like, let's be real. Cold could literally get out of any situation, and Acorn could IGL every situation. Pink and Wax, Mustache and Malibuga, Canada and Cooper, Rituals and Reek, and Muzz and Epic Whale. Then, top 25, you can see them here. And then, the top 40, we've got a lot of lower region teams in this area, just because I'm not as versed with them. And they tend to be contesting the biggest teams. Don't ask me why, they just are. Anyway, that is my prediction for FNCS. If you enjoyed this video, seeing what all the best players and best content creators in the world think of FNCS this season and who's going to win, make sure you like the video for the algorithms. It gets pushed out to more people, as well as comment down below who you think is going to win. Watch the video on screen right now because it is an absolute banger. It's somewhere somewhere down here, I believe. Because YouTube really likes it and pushes my channel more when you watch more than one video at a time. Click on it and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.